Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. In the previous episode, we uh, got the head bash power up from money bags here in Winter Tundra, the newest world that Ripto has taken over. Uh, we went and backtracked a bit to a few other worlds and finished up what we could do there with our new set ability. Uh, and now that we are here, we are going to just go ahead and start collecting a bunch of gems. Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, so yeah, we got a new place, new world to go to, aka Winter Tundra. Um, so you know, we got a lot of new worlds, uh, a lot more gems and stuff to collect. I don't know why all of this treasure is sitting around, but uh, I guess it is. So with our new head bash power, there are quite a few rocks around here. Uh, I think this bigger one right here has an orb in it. Yes, it does. Haha. -ha. So we now have 48 orbs. If any, yeah, any of those rocks that are around here will have, oops, oh, nice, will have uh, gems, I mean not gems, an orb in them. Uh, I think it's only the one, but there may be another one around here somewhere. Uh, so we got a bunch of new worlds. All of these will require like a few orbs to uh, open. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if I said this in a previous episode, but I think you can actually beat this game with only having... Uh, I'm thinking it was only 13 orbs, or maybe 15. Because I think it was, um, that world there, and there may be one other world, um, a little bit further into this level that you require orbs for to open. Uh, all the other ones are open by themselves. Uh, so it's actually, it's pretty easy. You don't have to collect that many orbs to actually beat the game. It was mainly just the talismans that we are looking for to get to the next levels. Come on, pick up the gem. There we go. Another penguin down. Bam. Uh, in here we've got... Uh, we got a few more gems in here. Uh, plus we got Mr. Moneybags himself. Of course he's going to want you to open the uh, portal using some gems. Because, you know, he asks you for money. He's the, he's the one friend in every friend group. Uh, you know, I'm sure some of you guys may have a friend that always asks for money. No matter what time they, you know, what time it is, where they are, they're probably always going to ask you for something. Uh, you know, and it's it's a little inconvenient sometimes. Anyway, uh, yeah, when we got the head bash power up, we hit this rock here, which opened up this second part of the level. Uh, we could have gone through there right away, but uh, I didn't want to because there's, you know, all those other gems to collect in the other place, or the, like the previous area behind the door. Uh, yeah, so we got some, you know, we got some worlds here. We got another one, I think, just over in there. Uh, so I think there's only one, two, three. F I think there's only four, four worlds. I think, plus the speedway, or three worlds plus the speedway. And none of these uh, worlds here will give you talismans. They're mainly just for gems. And oh yeah, okay, this one needs t uh, orbs to open as well. Here we'll get them to open it anyway. I can see you've learned the value of orbs, Spyro. This touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. Cool. Yes, yeah, so now we have Metropolis open. Too bad we won't get to see Superman. All right, we're going to climb up these really weirdly thin and tall steps that it seems like no one should be able to uh, to open. And then right there, where Laura is standing, that is our boss door. We actually have enough orbs now. I think you only need... Ooh, how many do you need? Does it say on there? No, it doesn't. I think it says the orb, collect, like the number that you need, if you don't have enough. But if you have enough, it'll just say Ripto's Arena. Uh, and from here, this is one of the highest spots that we can get to. So we can do this. And right over here is actually not a, well, not really a secret orb, but because you still have to get it if you want 100%. But there is an orb just over here if you swim underneath and you come out over here. This is right by where the speedway is. And if you saw while I was walking in there, there was a little bit of a flash. Uh, that is that orb right there. So we are actually almost done this place. We have how much? 358 out of 400. We got both. No, we need one more orb. Where is that one orb from? Oh right, uh, the last orb is actually just a secret orb. Not a secret orb. I don't know why I keep on calling them secret orbs. They're just laying around. 
The one in the rock I could see as a secret orb because it was hidden in a rock. Uh, but this one is actually just lying around and you just have to go up here. You go all the way up here and it takes you really up high. And this is probably something I did. I don't think I've actually showed this. If you hold back on the... Oh, if you hold back on the control stick... There's our last orb. Uh, if you hold back on the control stick while you're gliding, you'll actually pull back and slow down. So if I glide from here and then hold back, uh, I just kind of slowly float. Uh, I guess it's just used for if you want to make a very small landing. Or the uh, you may think that your uh, wherever you're going, whatever you're landing on, is maybe a little bit like you float. You're going to overshoot it. Um, then you can hold back and slowly, just slowly fall really really nicely I guess I guess that's the word for it uh, I think there might be some more gems around here let's see Ooh. oh dang that one I undershot uh, let's see if there's any more gems around here it doesn't look like it's over there it doesn't look like it's over there where could these other gems be gotta do a nice fly around uh, no can't get a huh wait do I have the sparks power up I do not sure if I actually showed this yet. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, if you hold L1, L2, R1, and R2, uh, Sparks will actually point to the nearest gem. So right now he's pointing through the wall. I think I probably showed this in a previous episode if I was missing some gems. Uh, here, we'll go around and inside. Unless I missed... Yeah, I missed one inside here. Pretty sure. Oh, camera's going all crazy. Oh, yeah, it should be... Oh, yeah, right there. Thank you. All right, so we probably have one more. Let's check. 93 out of 400, so we're missing seven. Uh, let's see. So what have you guys, what have you guys, my viewers, been up to? Uh, anything r interesting recently? Uh, no Man's Sky recently came out. Uh, I did pre-order that the day before. Uh, because you got a, a ship with it. I was kind of dependent, on, or oh, has hesitant, that's the word. I was kind of hesitant to uh, to get the game. Oh, right, the rest of the gems are in there. Um, so I'm not going to get those yet. Um, I was a little bit hesitant on, on whether or not I should get the game or not. It looked interesting, but I wasn't sure if I would enjoy it to its, uh, to its full extent. Uh, so I didn't actually, like, I... I didn't want to pre-order it right away Oop, slide right in we're just gonna go to this level real quick uh, just because you know why not so we'll talk to uh, professor consolation that you've collected so many orbs my high-tech portal here will take you to cloud temples oh yay cloud temples one of the levels that I like and also don't like now we're just gonna get right into it if this episode's a little bit longer that's okay we didn't get all the gems because the last ones are actually very 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 close to the end so we're gonna save those until we finish all the rest of the worlds Okay, so now we're in Cloud Temples. Uh, yeah, this is a very interesting looking place. Uh, a lot of it's floating. Um, but we're going to kill this guy real quick. And then I will continue on with my story. Dang it. Oh, you can flame his little balls. Cool. Okay, so if we kill that guy, I forget what they're called. Uh, then this magic dude will pick up the staff that I guess that magic red dude stole from him. I think they're actually imps, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. And then I'm sure he'll... Th no, he won't talk to me. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, but um, continue on the, continuing on the conversation before. Um, oh, this guy's going to come alive. Bang. Any, yeah, any guys in case in stone will come to life when you get close. Uh, continuing on the conversation. I wasn't... I was a little hesitant to buy No Man's Sky. I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy it or not. Um, so, you know, I was looking at reviews and gameplay and stuff like that. The... Uh, the day before, like a few days before, bam, gotcha. Um, and I, you know, it, it looked very interesting. I like the graphics, graphical style and stuff like that. 
so then the day before, uh, the, or actually the day that it came out on Steam, it always, uh, I guess, it comes out at a certain time. So I, whoop, hoo hoo. So I waited just a bit until the day it came out, and I uh, pre-ordered it, I guess, <laughs> or I just pretty much just bought it, but it still counted as a pre-order because for some reason Steam only released the game at like 11 or 12 uh, that day on on for the Friday that it came out. Um, so I was able to actually get the pre-order uh, special ship from it. Uh, so I thought that was actually really cool that even though, you know, wasn't sure about the game, I uh, wasn't sure if it was going to be something that, some, you know, something of my style, uh, which actually, you know, when I, after I started playing it and stuff like that, it's actually a really fun game. It's, the best way that I can put it is Minecraft in space-ish kind of thing. That's probably the best way that I could put it, would be Minecraft in space. Oh, come on, I was going to headshot that guy. Bye. Oh, you want to fight? I missed. What? I can't shoot your your balls. I thought I could. Yeah, it's that. That's the best way that I could it could explain No Man's Sky. Um, would be uh, Minecraft in space, I guess, with with much more uh, non-human, or I guess not 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 non-human, but uh, uh, alien creatures instead of you know our regular sheep and cows and stuff like that you have a lot of other creatures hopefully there'll be actually i was thinking of some stuff that they could add into um you know uh more uh, not uh, not dlc but um some like you know additional features that they could add uh one would be you know creatures that you find on planets have a purpose for something uh, other than just to be there to identify because you do identify creatures and you can rename them and stuff like that. Um, some of the creatures should be... Ow. Oh, he's coming after me. Bang. <laughs> Flame you. Um, some of the creatures should be able to be used for something. Like you could, uh, you know, kill this creature. Whoop. Uh, and then maybe, uh, you know, use its fur slash skin slash whatever it's you know whatever it drops or whatever it gives you to make um you know some protection against temperatures and stuff like that because i know some some places un unless that's you know already what you can do but they just haven't uh i just haven't gone that far um there are nope there are uh, you know, different temperatures in, in, wow, okay, I got stuck there, uh, did, there are different temperatures in the game, uh, you know, you got your hot and cold temperatures that, I guess, your character, their body can't stand, uh, so, you know, you gotta make sure you watch, uh, your, your temperature gauge, and there's also toxicity, so planets can be toxic, um, so you have to watch out, like, uh, for radiation levels and stuff like that, uh, so that'd be interesting if, I guess you could, Unless you can already do this, craft in you know enhancements um, and those extra features, I guess, uh, to withstand the cold and other temperatures uh, for either longer periods of time or f indefinitely. But let's say you can only have one of those at a time, uh, then you know it'll make it a little bit more interesting to um, you know see what you all build with your character. Um, you know, if it's, you gotta switch out cold for hot, um, and, uh, like a suit, um, or, you know, a hot for toxic, but there's also still that warm, you know, but further on in the game you might get the ability to put two of them on, so you could get hot and toxicity or radiation protection, so, you know, you're covered against both. Um, so it'd be very, it'd be very interesting to see what they could all do with that, or, you know, that you could use, um creatures bodily stuff i was gonna say fluids but that sounds kind of weird um to create more powerful uh you know weapons slash uh gadgets slash um oh what else what else um weapons slash gadgets slash uh you know stuff for even just mining you know maybe a monster's bodily fluid is highly combustible when exposed to air uh, then, you know, you 
craft a small gun attachment for said. Dang it, it can still hit me. Uh, so like a small gun attachment for said. Uh, you know, for your character. Oh, hold on. You have freed our city from the claws of those evil warlocks. Please take this orb. I foresee that it will help you on your journey. Cool. Uh, yeah. So they're warlocks. That's what they are. Yeah, so we got another orb. Um, and that's actually the end of the level. Uh, <laughs> there are a few other challenges and stuff that we can do. Um, but we're going to go around this just for a bit. Uh, so yeah, uh, that'd be interesting to see if you could make, you know, a monster's bodily fluid is highly combustible when exposed to air. So then you make a, a gun attachment that, you know, is extremely powerful, um, but you have a limited supply and you just have to refuel by hunting, I guess, that creature. So it'd make it a little bit more interesting to actually go out and find creatures rather than, you know, randomly coming across them and scanning them and then naming them something stupid uh, and then leaving. So, you know, th that would be a few. Or, or then, you know, they could also create more weapons. You know, you could also create things to ride creatures if you wanted to, instead of having to get in your ship uh, and fly to a new place every time, you know, flying around, you could find, uh, you know, a six-legged creature that's extremely fast, craft a saddle, and, you know, be able to, after a little bit of training, or, you know, if you find a specific uh, fr let's say a fruit uh, or some kind of vegetation in on that planet uh, you know after uh, feeding said creature and gaining its trust you could end up riding it uh, I know it's kind of like Minecraft you know with the horses you gotta feed them carrots or whatever uh, but it would be interesting to take some of those notes of you know riding creatures and crafting different weaponry out of different you know different elements and different creature parts I guess um, it would kind of expand more in the world and all these uh, different creatures drop different things, and it's, some are harder to find than others, uh, and it'd be very interesting. Uh, but this this guy looks like a sad wizard, uh, so we're gonna get off the topic of No Man's Sky, and we're gonna talk to this sad wizard. Our mystical bell towers have been overrun by trolls, and the bells haven't been rung in days. I tried a fire spell on the trolls, but it just made them crazier. This super freeze power up will chill out the trolls, but we really need the bells to ring. They'll ring if you charge into them. Okay, so we got to cool off some trolls. These trolls look very weird, by the way. Uh, they don't look... I'm pretty sure they don't look like regular trolls. Uh, so all you really have to do is freeze them. And then you can use them as stepping pads. Wah, wah, wah. There you go. So once you get up here, uh, then there is a... Actually, the bell, the bell that you're supposed to ring is this guy. There we go. So then you can get up here and glide across and up here and then freeze this guy and ding, ring the bell. So we got one. Oh, okay, so I got a ring. Uh, yeah, so then this guy goes over here. Nope, that's not exactly what I was going to do. I think I had to wait for this guy to... No, that guy doesn't... Uh, was there another bell I had to ring instead? Because there was one there. Oh, there we go. There's, there's the second guy. So you gotta freeze this guy. Then freeze that guy. Ooh, I can't even get to him, can I? Did I make it a little... Dang it. Uh, here, let's see if I can... Sure. Let's do this. There we go. I got a little bit of, uh... Room. There we go. I'm gonna fly through this real quick. Um... Hit that guy with another one right away. Same with you. Oh, come on. That was total. I totally would have made that. Come on. Wow. I really can't hit this guy. Stop. Okay, so I guess I got to get this guy a little bit lower. Come on. Unfreeze. I guess I got to go get some more power up now. This is not supposed to be this hard. It's supposed to be pretty easy to freeze this guy. Freeze that guy jump to him and we're good oh why can't I get onto him man dang it there seriously come on Tur turn around huh. oh my gosh Whew. wow this is uh, apparently more difficult than it seems 
Nope, I did not want to freeze you there. You can freeze there. You will freeze there. And I still made it too big. Dang it. There. Is that that should be fine. There we go. Okay, so now we gotta freeze this guy and then ding the second bell. There we go. You want an orb for doing that? Well I'm afraid not. There's still one bell left. You can get to it by using the whirlwind behind me. Cool. So we don't actually get another orb from that. We gotta go to this last bell, which is all the way up here. Whee! And then it's this one's super easy to do, because then you can just do this. And then jump here. Whoop. And boom. And whoops. Boop. And yeah. There we go. Thanks, Spyro. Easy peasy. I didn't think you could do it. Here, have a souvenir from the Mystic City gift shop. And the Mystic City gift shop? You mean an orb that I was supposed to have? <laughs> I don't know why they uh, didn't just give the orb to you in the first place. And apparently this was at a gift shop. Which I find very weird that they would have an orb. Something apparently that they've had here for a while. Unless apparently orbs aren't, you know, powerful unless held by a dragon. Oops, I did not mean to freeze you. Here, I'll unfreeze you. Dink. Turn into ice cubes. Yeah, it's very weird that they got a... Can I fall down here? Pretty sure I can. <sighs> Boom. Skills to pay the bills. Alright, so now we're going to go back up here. Uh, we got to wait for this guy to come back around so I can... Oh, wow, I might actually not even finish this level. Uh, I'm going to hit this. I'm going to hit this rocket up here and then... Uh, that may be the end of the episode, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see how things go. And boop. Freeze you. These guys look really weird. Uh, now where's my rocket? Oh, unless I have to glide around. Oh, man, I missed. That's okay, I don't have my power up. I don't need it to get this rocket. Yes, okay. Sweet, so we got the rocket. And that'll take us right to here. Ding, ding, ding. 25. Oh, there's a 25 in there. I still want to find someone to 3D print me some uh, some gems in, in each of the different colors and uh, each of the different designs. Okay, so we're at about 23 minutes, but we did a bunch of stuff collecting gems. Oh my gosh, that was not supposed to happen. I should have turned my phone off. Um... Anyway, we collected a bunch of gems in the beginning, so that extra bit of time I won't worry about. I'm just going to turn my phone off. Sorry about that. Extra noise. Anyway, uh, so we're going to finish this challenge here. Secret agent. I'm going to my secret hideout. Only members of my secret club are allowed to go there. I'm not leaving unless you hide behind that tree so you can't see me. <laughs> All right, so we're supposed to hide behind the tree and then follow Agent Zero. This is a four-star difficulty. Um, you know, it actually this is one of them that actually kind of deserves it because this guy's this challenge can be very annoying because if you mess up close to the end, uh, you got to start all over. <sighs> so it could be a little, little annoying. And he actually doesn't move until you hide behind the tree, and as soon as you hide behind the tree, then he starts moving. So you got to keep an eye on him. Um, at all times and he will circle around to try to find you um, so then he will whoop, shit he's gonna see me nope all right so he's gonna jump around and he's gonna go circle so you gotta hide behind the tree again and he's gonna go through the door and you just got to keep an eye on him and not let him see you and you also can't get uh, you can't go too fast or too slow because the doors that he opens do close Ooh. So you gotta jump, hide behind, he's gonna go there, and then I think he comes back as well, yeah, comes all the way back over here, and then hides, you gotta hide behind the tree twice, I think he does, nope, you gotta go in real fast, there we go, What? You easy peasy. Me? 
You must be a member of my secret club after all. Here, take this secret decoder. It will allow us to send secret messages. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt it will let you send secret messages. But we did get all three orbs. And he's, his secret club is one room filled with four flowers. I guess, you know, I guess the gate's only open for him, maybe, but four flowers? That's uh, quite the secret club. Although, I'm sure, I'm sure every kid, you know, <laughs> depending on how old they are, as he is quite the big, big kid, uh, always wanted a secret club. Well, even I did. Even I wanted, like, a secret, you know, hideaway that I could go to. It'd be awesome. Especially if you could, you know, only open it you know, a secret way, or you had like a contraption set up that you could use to open it, that'd be awesome. You know, I'm sure everyone wants a secret, you know, bat cave in their, in their, in their room, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay, so now we're done this level, collected everything all at once, didn't miss any gems, because, you know, I finally am that good. I've been playing, um, Spiral 3 in my spare time in between, you know, videos and uh, you know, my daily life. Uh, I've been playing the third Spiral game uh, and collecting it. Oh, we're gonna watch this first. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Turns him into a goat. But yeah, uh, wait, what was I saying? All oh, right, I've been playing Spiral 3. <clears throat> Sorry for the yawn. I've been playing Spiral 3 in my spare time. Uh, so, you know, I've been somewhat getting better at collecting gems. Uh, hopefully in this one, you know. I've been, I've been doing a pretty decent job at not missing gems. I've missed a few, but uh, not too big. It's usually only a few. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so hopefully I can c complete these levels a little bit faster in the future, in, you know, even in Spiral 3, uh, since, you know, those one, that, I'll, I'll play through the third one quite often as well, so hopefully I'll be able to, uh, to get, uh, you know, get that one done when I play it in the future a little bit faster. Uh, but on that note, I'm gonna end the episode here, uh, and in the next episode, having completed one world already, uh, and, you know, pretty much this, this home world as well, uh, we're missing a few gems, but that's okay. I got a plan for uh, for completing that. Um, we're gonna take on Mystic Marsh. This one, this level's a bit longer, uh, or ju it's just a bit more all over the place. So uh, it also has a really fun. Um, oh, what is it again? A really fun game to get uh, an orb. It has to do with trading, kind of like uh, Legend of Zelda trading sequences. Um, but in the next episode, we'll take on Mystic Marsh, uh, and then from there we'll head on to somewhere else uh so i will see you guys then super poseidon out